people, 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 people. Que pasa, sa, pa, se, what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. We can all come to the conclusion that Jamaica is a very dangerous place to do business. It seems as if success makes you a target. It seems as if persons think that they are entitled to your success. People think that business people doing business in Jamaica, they are supposed to coexist with the criminals. They are supposed to share the proceeds of their legitimate business. I got a couple of pictures yesterday, very disturbing. The pictures showed an elderly man lay down upon the ground, him had clothes by, full with red. This man was pretty much laying in a pool of his own B L O O D. I said to myself, then hold on, I what this man could I really do for somebody take away a old man just like that? People, the picture was bad. The details is even more horrific, terrible. Based on information, this man's name is Jerome, more affectionately known as Mr. B. He operates or did operate a gas station in a Clarendon. He was at some sorts of unfinished building, an apartment complex that was being built. He was standing in the presence of a next man when it is said that Two men appeared from the rear of the building, run upon them, G-U-N, Mr. Jerome B. Down. The other person in which he was talking to, him tried to make a hasty retreat or take for himself. However, he was not so fortunate. Well, he was more fortunate than Mr. B because he got hit in the back. However, he was taken to the place of recovery and he is in serious condition. Mr. B lost his life on the spot. Mr. B was hit a couple of times in the crown. When the popo were called or summons and they came on the crime scene, they found about 13 spent shells or so. Mr. B was the target. This was definitely a hit. Now people, like I said, it seems as if these people don't know how them think or how them meds. Don't know what could have happened. Whenever anybody lose their life in Jamaica, there could be many, many motives. People are bad mind. People are covetous. People are very thin-skinned and even worse. Doing business in Jamaica, especially construction, people want work. However, most disturbingly is that people want to extort you. People are going to come and confront you or tell you, say, listen, I miss a so-and-so run the place, you know. Miss a so-and-so send me or miss a so-and-so I go come by himself. And he's going to tell you his demands. He want 100,000, 200,000, don't know how they come up to their figures. Don't know if there are some sorts of financial wizard. This is based on the amount of rooms or the amount of apartment. Me no know how them come up with their conclusion. However, one thing for sure, it seems as if they are very unconscionable most of the time. So when we hear of cases like this, many things come to mind. We are so confused. We have to ask the question, is this a hit put on? by his wife come on law wife whatever the case is is this a disgruntled worker is this extortion is this somebody that he might have fired that's what i meant and this person getting them feelings people when somebody come for you and them give you 15 pieces sorry 13 pieces it tells you that they want you gone it tells you that they were not taking any sorts of chances. So people, what is going to happen? This project is going to be stalled. 
the gas station in which the man operates is going to be stalled or closed. People are going to be out of a job. What about this man's family? What about this man's wife? What about this man's kids, employees, loved ones? Do you even think of the trickle effect, the domino effect? When you take with somebody because somebody pay you some sort of money, or you get in your feelings for whatever reason. Whatever the reason is, it is never justified to take away anybody's life. So in these people's meds, them no know how you finance your project. Them no know how you pay your workers, how you take care of your bills, your expenses. However, they want to be a partner that don't invest. However, they want to reap what they sow. They want to be beneficiaries of the proceeds of your hard work and dedication. Partner by default, by badness, by extortion. Don't understand it. However, the disturbing thing is that disturbing things have become the norm in a Jamaica. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is called... The grass is not always greener on the other side of the fence. Now we know that Jamaica is a very rough place. High unemployment and even if you can get a job, the pay scale or grade is very low. It is not going to sustain you and your family. So therefore people have ambition. They want to get better for themselves and their family. However, Everything is not always what it seems. I am speaking about two Jamaican women that met a man on November of 2020. That man told them that he had a friend that operates a farm in Guyana. He is Guyanese. His friend is looking for a worker. So the lady said when she met the man, she told her friend about it. The person named Tommy or Yankee, that is the person who has the job, the employer. She told her friend that Tommy is offering 5,000 equivalent US dollars for a two-week work. She said, okay, they contacted Tommy through the friend. Tommy told them they were going to, he was going to pay for all the traveling expenses. They went to Guyana on the 12th of December 2020. While they were there working, they realized that, as a matter of fact, before they left Jamaica, Tommy or Yankee tell them, say, when they reach at immigration, tell them, say, you're only going to be here for two weeks. So people, you see, say, Tommy, he was a liar from day one. So therefore, when we do the maths, he promised them $5,000 for two people for two weeks. That is the equivalent of $1,250 per week for both persons. Or each person got that. Now people, the reason why this man told these two ladies to tell the immigration that they're only going to be there for two weeks. He knows the immigration policy. He knows eh, after you overstay your time after that two weeks, you're in violation of your visa or your entry. So therefore, automatically, you would lose those rights. Automatically, he can threaten to report you to immigration. So therefore, if you had tell him, say, hold on a minute, we spot my money there. We spot my pay there. We spot the 5000 that you promised for two weeks. Where is that at? It is now April 24th. Four months and 12 days later and no sorts of pay. So people, when you do the maths, two weeks, $5,000. $1,250 each for both person. However, four months and 12 days after, Zero money. People, sad to say, like them always say. 
a promise is a comfort to a fool. The grass is definitely not always greener on the other side. The two women were there working on some sorts of farm. Them realized that them now get compensated. On about the 24th of April, which would have been four months and 12 days later, they went to the Popo and they filed some sorts of reports. He was arrested. He was charged. He went to court. He was convicted. The case started on December of 2021 and ended eight months afterwards. He was convicted. He was given four years for trafficking these two ladies. An additional one year for holding on to their passport. Did not want to give back these ladies their passport. He was also ordered to pay 200,000 Guyanese dollars and $6.3 million restitution to the two young ladies from Jamaica for trafficking them. Now when we hear stories like this, the sad thing is that this is not an isolated incident. I am sure if not you, you know somebody that has had this very bad experience that have been A B U S E D wherever they went to. If them left from Yasso, them go a Cayman, them go a Turks and Caicos, them go a Bahamas. When they reach, you think say America and Canada bad. And I know that most persons are going to say, yeah, we've had experiences where we went overseas. Even upon some sorts of job opportunity as residents or as visitors work program and the people them treat with bad because them double H I T E and they are some sorts of R A C I S T. But people, I am here to tell you that the people them from the island sometimes them treat island people especially jamaicans even worse than the double h i t e people and even more disturbing based on stories that i've heard experiences that people have had with their own family member that them used to grow up with in a them house of jamaica that person used to be like brother and sister or sister and sister however when them go a foreign or go a one of them little island and them start make little money and then them send for you. When you come, it is not but exploitation. It is worse than S-L-A-V-E-R-Y. So people, me just show you. This is what is happening to a whole bunch of people. People take advantage of you because they know that you are desperate. And people in many cases... People are living below substandard S-L-A-V-E thing because they don't want to come back to Jamaica whether it is because of shame or whether they feel as if they can put up with any sorts of BS instead of coming back to Jamaica because of monetary reasons. So what this does is that it speaks volume about the economy and job opportunity in Jamaica. Even Wasara the mismanagement of the country because there is no reason for Jamaica a place with so much natural resources so much potential but because of bad management for about four or five decades then people have to run from Jamaica where it is very bad and then them run go to some other places which is even worse all because of opportunity and lack of opportunity in a Jamaica. So therefore, the government of Jamaica and the management of Jamaica indirectly cause the people to want to flee and get exploited, get E-N-S-L-A-V-E-D, point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.